This is the 13 Eyewitness News Sports Desk, driven by your Central Indiana Chevy dealers. How's everything been going? Been feathery. Been feathery. Feeling real good. Feeling real nice. How about you? Yeah, the thing's been going well. Yeah, yeah. Things been going real well. Real well. Real well. We first introduced you to eight-year-old Mason Garvey a few weeks ago when he took the WTHR mic and went one-on-one -on -one with Victor Oladipo. He's clearly coming for my job next. But the Pacers superstar isn't the only indie athlete that Mighty Mason has in his corner. I'm usually like a football, basketball fan. It's Sunday afternoon, and for the second straight week, Mason Garvey is sidelined at the Colts game. I think we're going to win by a lot. His eyes are locked in on the field as the team comes out for pregame warm-ups, looking for one number in particular. 23. Mason and Colts defensive back Kenny Moore are no strangers. We first met at the hospital. Mason is battling stage four cancer. About a couple of weeks ago, I, I met Mason at uh, the Raleigh Hospital. Um, he was going through chemo and everything. And once I heard about, you know, how it began to be a stage four, so quickly, you know, he just got cancer a few months ago. I mean, that's, it's crazy that a little kid can go through all that. So meeting Mason, he touched my heart, uh, like, as soon as I looked at him. But long story short, we just became buddies. I gave him my number so he can always hit me up. So he's pretty cool. Much like the Colts in the first half against the Giants, it took Mason some time to warm up to his new friend. To begin with, he was very quiet and shy, and he really... He weren't in the mood because he was just going through chemo um, earlier that day. As the time went on, he began to lighten up. He was like, okay, this guy, I guess he does play for the Colts. By the end of the day, he was telling me about Fortnite. And uh, he didn't play it, but he knew the dances, so we were doing all the dances from Fortnite. I was acting like I was luck, hand, handing him the ball off. And uh, he was running through the hospital, so that was pretty cool. And now there isn't a day that Mason doesn't cross Moore's mind. Even on game day with his focus on the field, Moore looks forward to seeing number 23 on the sideline. And he wears a constant reminder on his wrist. We have these bracelets. A bracelet with the words Mighty Mason written boldly on the side. By just seeing him, he's like, a, he's just looking around and I, and I see him with my jersey on. And his dad is pointing at me and it's just, it's a, it's a, it's a better feeling than than even seeing my friends in the stands, you know what I'm saying? I love their support, but it's something about Mason that I just can't describe, so. When you're playing a game, this really, a, in the grand scheme of things, is just a game. How does Mason put things into perspective for you? Uh, you just can't take it for granted. I'm, I'm pretty sure he wants to play football so bad, and he wants to play at this level so bad, but, you know, unfortunately, he has things that he cannot control, and, you know, whenever I see him, and, and as soon as I walk away, I told him I had him today, you know, I got you, I got you, Mason. Um, as, soon as, as soon as we did our pound, our handshake, um, I was just like, Lord, just, just bless that kid. You know what I'm saying? He, he can't control what he's going through. And I just told myself to just play hard for him. Kenny Moore and Mason Garvey are 15 years apart, but couldn't be closer friends. A really special bond between those two. Jenny.